the top 10 misconceptions about common sayings number 10 scot free common saying uh, to get off scot free many people think this saying uh, refers to scottish people being tight with the money hence something being free but in fact the word scot is an old norse word which means a payment especially a payment made to a la landlord or sheriff number 9 fit as a fiddle as uh, fit as a fiddle this is another phrase where a single word has confused people fit in the context of this saying does not mean healthy which is a 19 19th century definition its original meaning was suitable and it is still used in that context in the sentence fit for a king number eight another thing coming common saying if you think that you have another thing coming this is a complete abbreviation of the original phrase because of the sound of english the correct phrase is if you think that you have another thing coming in other words what you think is wrong so think again because the k is think often ends with uh, with the saying think anyway number seven eat humble pie common saying is eat humble pie this phrase means uh, to be humble in apologizing for something i was slightly reluctant to put it on the list because yes number six rule of thumb common saying is rule of thumb people commonly think that uh, this saying is a reference to a law allowing a man to beat his wife as long as he uses a rod no thicker than his thumb it is of course completely untrue number five on tender hooks common saying on tender hooks this phrase is uh, very commonly misspelled first off what exactly is a tender hook it doesn't seem logical does it well that is because it is not the phrase is actually on tender hooks number four take a rain check common saying is i'll take a rain check this phrase is usually meant to mean i won't do it now but i will do it later this is the commonly accepted meaning so it is now considered to be correct number three free rain common saying to give some one free rain this is a spelling error that leads to a misunderstanding though the meanings remain the same fundamentally many people presume this phrase to mean that a person given free reign has the royal power to do anything they want number two break havoc to ref to break havoc Hav havoc means chaos chaos uh, and to break something is to put into a state of chaos so why would you make chaos out of chaos you would not so the number one is beg the question to beg the question to beg the question doesn't mean uh, to raise a question originally the phrase was to beg the question and it appeared in english around the 1850s it is a reference to a question or a phrase that implies the truth of the thing it is uh, trying to prove so these are the top 10 misconceptions about common sayings